I, I, see how, how you treating my son? <laughs> How's she treating herself? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good comeback, bro. I, I wasn't ready for that one, yeah. It was all a dream to even do music with Wayne. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now, the fact that the, the nigga that everybody look up to, you know what I'm saying, real life, fuck with me like that. It's just a dream I ain't even wake up from yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm still living in that shit for real. It's just the beginning, too, so I'm just getting started. I ain't asked for nothing I'ma work for all of this shit I didn't really put my all in this shit Nice in the hood, so hard to forget Black and red bands, they rest in peace, love Next to the all the mall, my wrist I remember tripping out about dumb shit Now I'm taking trips with my bitch, Lord Free Duke, free Turk, my brother Y'all boys don't know about nothing High young nigga came off the olive branch Glowed up, got the whole block jumping Yeah, by mommy stoke And everybody know that I'm from Holly Grove Right, twist your fingers. I'm from hey, Jones. What's, good, my What's happening, man? Good I'm to be cool chilling class. with you. You heard me taking the ride with you. Like, why, man? Yeah, man. So let the people know, I mean, why was it so important for you to be a rapper? Like, to know this is what you want to do with your life? For people that don't know, like, my dad is in music. You know what I'm saying? Like, far as the, the early wave in New Orleans, the big boy records. The, right. The cash money, the No Limit days. So he jaded all the black men. The niggas that had the big afro and shit like that. So. Right. I really been around music my whole life, like, you know what I'm saying, from the Mr. Foods to the Partners in Crown to the Ghetto Twin, you know what I'm saying? So I really, like, real life grew up around that shit. Um, when I first heard Jay Jones shit, my initial reaction was he a monster, he a beast, and it makes sense, because um, I used to record by his pop studio, and I used to see him in there, he was young, so I'm like, when he started rapping, I'm sitting there and I'm like, wow, he was really a sponge and you was soaking up the game, you know what I'm saying? What's some of the advice people like Wayne or Mac Main that, that share with you um, on, you know, embarking on your music career and like just advice that they give you? I mean, honestly, they speak by actions. You do is workaholics, you know what I'm saying? Real life workaholics, so you mean tell me niggas what, this X amount of money that I could still work like this. Home is going to the studio for 24 hours, 26 hours. Right. And then go to the skate park. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that just let me know that you ain't got a ton of sleep. It's just like, I, 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 I feel like I learned from actions, from wa watching what a nigga do and seeing how niggas move more right. than, niggas can say a lot of shit and move completely differently. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I sit back and watch action. You know what I'm saying? So. Just saying how hard bro go, that make me go in the studio by myself for 13 hours. Right, right, right. By myself, I record myself, and, you know what I'm saying? Just from yeah. being around that, like just from doing that shit, you know what I'm saying? So, I really like, got 300 songs, 400 unreleased songs. Right. Just music, like, you know what I'm saying? Just right. kind of just the singing shit, pop shit, rap shit, auto-tune shit, trap shit, like, you know what I'm saying? I just try right. to, you know what I'm saying? But that come from that, just saying like, ain't no way I could just be chilling, them niggas ain't chilling. Right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, nigga? Right. Pop Shit, I'm right next to the goat. I'm new with this veteran. I remember the first time I heard his music, I was just completely blown away. You know what I mean? Because this is somebody who I've known for a long time and who I've seen greatness in for a long time. And you really hope the best. Like, please let his music be good, you know? And then all of a sudden, it happened. And all of a sudden, he young money. And all of a sudden, he's standing there next to the goat. But, I mean, that's why I think we're okay. We're great. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> But fuck it, I'ma kill him and whoever with him. If you're dedicated, put your pistol to the ceiling. Now they hit a hundred thousand, like I hit a hundred million. It probably take a while. I ain't tripping, I'ma get it. They passing me the crown in the minute, I can feel it. Peace sign, too cool. Should have bet on C5. Just roll and ignore those three signs. He, 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 he better than he better than what they expect. He better than what anybody expect, and that's what I always want. Coming from New Orleans, we always trying to make we always trying to make a statement. We always trying to make a footprint in the ground just to keep that footprint there. And with that said, put the torch in his hand, he gone, he got it. Um, thinking back on the, um, when I first had a son, um, I ain't, um, 
I ain't want him to do music really, like talking about it. I mean, I was kind of doing music and didn't want him doing this shit, but I necessarily didn't want him doing it, but I just had no idea that he was going to, you know what I'm saying, follow in the same footsteps I, I, I did. 11 years old, you know what I'm saying, when he um, first wanted to spit. And he came to me and he said, um, Dad, check this out. And he ran something. I'm like, you ain't right there, boy. Run it again. Run it again. So I said, well, give me something else. So he said, give me a minute. So he went, took, took a minute and wrote something else. What did you feel at that point? What I felt? Yeah. See, he was ready. Hands down, he was ready. He, he was ready, you know what I'm talking about? And he's about three or four months old on here. Three or four? Yeah. That's my first picture of him, besides the hospital one. I used to always ask him, like my aunt used to ask him. She was one of his biggest fans when he first started. He asked, she asked him why they have to curse so much. And it always stuck with me. This is the way they express themselves. So when it get too explicit for me, I don't listen to it. Now he has sit, he has sit down and wrote things for me without the profanity. And I asked him why you can't write like that. He said that's not truly himself. So if it's too explicit, I don't listen to it. But I can understand where they're coming from, from the way they grew up in the area they grew up, the things they saw and still see today. So I let them have their fun. I don't knock them, but I don't care for it. Now I'll vibe to it. Don't get me wrong, if it's got the right beat to it, I just have to ignore them words. Yeah. How does one maintain being a, a family man and being a rapper at the same time? I mean... <laughs> It's a balance. Like, I, 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 you gotta be, I'm Jay Jones, and then I gotta be Ronald, too. I got a dog, I got a four year old. You know right. what I'm saying? I'm fucking Spider Man hands that time, too. You know what I'm saying? It's a switch, you gotta turn it off. You know what I'm right. saying? So, you just gotta know how to level it. I ain't gonna say it was easy and I've been doing it. You know what I'm saying? I had to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? But, right. you know what I'm saying? It worked out. I dip out for a long time, but I got sisters and mothers, and so the communication is always done with the family and right. my daughter. So. All that, you know what I'm saying? It worked out cool. It right, worked out right. cool. They understand. They understand what I'm doing. So, yeah, that's, that's provided that's for cool. the family, right? So long as they understand, everything yeah. be cool. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, well, um, with that being said, lead me to a question about uh, you had a real track that was real personal to you about your daughter, Jordan Jones, yeah. and that track uh, wound up leaking out before it was supposed to. Yeah. Can you just speak on that, like, like why, like how that affected you? That song getting out like I mean, that. Honestly, that's that's real life, like. The most heartfelt song out of the project, see, I ever did, like, you know what I'm saying? So, by that getting out on that project like that without, you know what I'm saying, me really putting out the real push behind it, how I really wanted to do it, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I was, I'm still pissed off behind it, you know what I'm saying? But I'm still gonna put that out, you know what I'm saying? I'm probably on, they know, like, you know, yeah. on, my, on my upcoming project, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm probably gonna put that out, because what that song means to me, and basically this project is really like me telling my story, like, so that's definitely a song that needs to be on. I was pissed off though, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, <laughs> Jay Charles Floyd's like, right. it's automatic. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, he jumping on everything and finding his pocket on everything. Like, he just, I don't know, it, it, he just go at it and it's always smooth. Like, you know what I'm saying? He definitely ain't no mama rapper. And he could definitely hold his breath. You know? Like, he, he, gets, he gets in there. He coming in on everything. Yeah, I'll spit it, dog. He the young, fresh nigga. Pay attention to it. Can you think of a, another song besides that one that that you feel like when you came to came to you just laying down mm -hmm. some of your hardest bars? Which one that stand out to you? You like, man, look, I cut up on that song. That's one of my favorites to be like, yeah. Go crazy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Go definitely, crazy. definitely. Yeah, just I because just because of the, the talk behind it. Like, nobody said I burnt Wayne. But it was just the fact that people felt like I kept up with it. Yeah, hell yeah, hell That's yeah. That's the GOAT. So if any nigga felt like I kept up with the GOAT, I'm going to take that. And that's my big brother. I know who he is. You know right. what I'm saying? I know what he do, nigga. So right. if niggas saying he ain't take off on me, I know he burn niggas, I take that. Right. I love that. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm right. saying? And I'm a competitive ass nigga, so right. I take that. I don't really like the waste time. Grab that ass from the waistline. Make it boom like a baseline. Long flights to a great sky. I was chilling on Biss Gang. Got a text about the dick gang. From my bitch out of NY. Trying to take me to the next game. Ain't a career that shit changed. Ain't a career that shit changed.
Right. Money coming in. You know what I mean? So, you gotta be that. But videos, man, nigga, gotta see your face. You know what right. I'm saying? You gotta know who the fuck Jay Jones is. You gotta know what you come from, what you've done, who, you know what I'm saying? If you're representing, like, what you, you know what I'm saying? Stand for, yeah. That shit is important. Like a motherfucker. Sure. The video, if you got 12 videos out, that's. Oh, shit. I feel like I've been slept on for a long time. You know what I'm saying? So it's really about time for everybody to wake up and that's that's just it. I'm gonna make sure that, that I'm gonna make sure that, that happen. Like with these next moves and everything that's going on, y'all just stay tuned. And y'all get ready, you know what I'm saying? The world get ready. Jay Jones on the way. It's the new young money, Moolah Gang. And yeah, that's how we coming, man. Straight from New Orleans. How they grow at that, you know what I'm talking about, Moolah Gang, man. Jones. Shit, I never wanted handouts I say I'ma take the man route We're from Stan and Graham's house Got bread to get the fam out I try to get away, but the streets got me I'm in the trenches, I could be on the beach Probably, but Lord knows Ready for smoke or grab a black bag Ain't doing that bad They say I never seen a rap check Fuck history, I never failed the mad test Bullets came in hit a G I guess you see I'm net blessed Section nigga like the project Soak it and let it digest Started off a weed night Graduated the Pyrex Rolled up in the leaf That's my relief along with high tech Got niggas on the street I'm wondering how they ain't die yet Shit, cause shit ain't the same nigga So watch where you hang nigga Gonna get your ass in trouble You thought life was a game nigga I did this off the muscle Me and you not the same nigga Same hitters Turn your fitted cap the drop top Brain missing Jay Jones man Jay Jones New Orleans boy Got next in the city I'm super proud of what he's doing uh, He knows what he's doing He prepared for this It looks overnight to a lot of people But it's not You know he comes from this He comes from music uh, he's second generation New Orleans music and uh, I'm just super proud to be a, a part of it uh, I'm proud of him on his own but I got a chance to do a record with him uh, that I love and I think y'all gonna love it and um, I'm just behind him the city's behind him and uh, y'all look out man we going you see what's happening peace <laughs>